Hey, bro. We were thinking of going to that apple orchard we saw the other day. Want to come along? It'll be fun. Ew. Apples? What are we? Fucking horses? <laughs> you fuck horses? What? It, no! Asshole! Why do we need that many apples anyway? Well, they really wanted to, and, you know, I like making my partner happy. Do you? Ugh. Fine. Dick. Whatever you say, shitty hair. What was that? Oh, nothing. Anyways, we have to stop by Starbies for my coffee. Whatever you need, man. Hey, baby shark. You ready to head out? Awesome. Kotsky, you should go change. Then we can head out. Change? How about you change your fucking hairstyle, loser? My outfit is perfectly fine. Ah, uh, yeah, they're right. You know it's September, right? I mean, it is a little chilly out there. Pfft, whatever. Let's bounce. See, bro? That wasn't such a bad drive. And you got your coffee. Damn right I got my coffee. Anyways, what are we doing here? It's cold, I'm sleepy, and I'd rather be at home. Yeah, they wanted to come and pick some apples. Maybe make a pie or something? But let me go buy our admission and I'll be back. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Hey, shorts are comfy. If we get attacked out here, who's going to be the most mobile, huh? That's right, nerd. Me. Remember that when I'm saving your ass from someone's dumb apple quirk. Fine. I'll stand next to you with your stupid-looking blanket. But not because I'm cold. You just look pitiful all by yourself. What in the fuck is he doing? Is... You running? Ah. Ugh. Cuddling up without me, huh? <laughs> I see how it is. Now we can all warm up. Ha. <laughs> you snooze, you lose, douchebag. Bro, who even says that anymore? Anyways, look. I got this super cute little wagon and a couple of baskets we can toss our apples I'll toss into. You into a basket. Come on, guys. Let's get to picking. Hey, you found a good one. Toss it in the basket so we don't lose it. And we can use it for the pie. Yeah, we do have plenty now, so we can probably wrap it up soon. Ow, asshole. Watch where you're throwing. What? What are you doing in the basket? Eh, I was tired of walking, and I figured it's much easier for me if you pull me around in this cool-ass wagon. I was thinking of maybe painting some, like, flames on the side. Maybe it'd go faster, I don't know. Bro, I thought it was so heavy because we were toting around all these apples, but it was just your big ass. Hey, you leave my voluptuous ass out of this, and don't you dare diss my sweet ride. Alright then, are you gonna pull him? Yeah, me neither. Alright Kotsky, good luck getting back to the car. Hey you little shit, pull me. I haven't put a motor on this bad boy yet. Oh no, so sad. We're leaving now. Bye. Uh, fine. I guess I'll have to walk like the rest of you peasants. Uh, hey, come get your stupid apple wagon. <laughs> we were just messing with you, man. As dumb as you can be, we wouldn't leave you. Damn straight. Now take your stupid wagon. Can you believe this guy? Thinks he's a king or something. <laughs> You're right. That's what I was thinking. Hey, don't just stand around and gossip. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh. Hey, bro. You may not want to go around kicking trees. What if there are bees or wasps? What? Bugs? Then I'll do what I do best and squish them. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, I think I... Uh, uh. Oh, shit! Kotsky, are you okay? 
Oh, fuck. I'm out, boy. I can't believe we have to do this. Uh, here. Help me get him in this stupid wagon. God, he's heavy. This dude always seems to get what he wants. And now he went and passed out on us, and he can't even help us load up. Yeah, he'll be okay. He's probably just going to be out for a bit. We can get him and the few apples we were able to gather loaded up into the car. And take this big dummy back home. Uh, uh, fuck you. Something smells good. And then I was like, what do you mean you shit your pit? Oh, look who's finally awake. Did you fucking bake a pie without me? I mean, they are right. You were knocked out after all. Told you not to go kicking trees. How about I kick something else, huh? Dude, shut up and open your mouth. Open my... Why? What are you planning, you pervert? You think you can just defile me like... Mm. Good? Shit. This is pretty good. Mm. Move over. I want some more. <laughs> See? I told you it would calm him down. He's like the Hulk. You just gotta sing him a lullaby and he goes straight to sleep. Mm. Uh, so... Which one of you made this? <laughs> I wish I could take the credit, but this was all they're doing. I mostly just watched and supported from the sidelines. Hmm. Is that so, baby doll? Did you make this for me? For us. Whatever. The point is, good deeds get rewarded. Right, shark bitch? I prefer you to call me literally anything else, but... Yes, he does have a point. Then how about... The three of us... Share a little... Sugar. But we used all the sugar for the... Oh! I gotcha. What do you say? Down for a little... Smooching and pie eating? <laughs> Sounds good to us. Cuddle up on the couch? Huh. For once I agree, shitty hair. You two. Sit. I hope you weebs enjoyed this spicy Eijiro Kirishima and Katsuki Bakugo X listener roleplay. If you did enjoy and made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. It's 100% free and turns you into a certified weeb seven days a week. Please like the video if you enjoyed and leave a comment down below on who you'd like to see next. Anyways, that's enough for me. My name is Bazaar and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. Bizarre steps to his mic to make his little sounds. Jump up and cheer, hit subscribe and stick around ASMR most times, with Minecraft on the side Some modded games or Deku there to soothe you when you cry Go ahead, close your eyes, kick back and put him on And get even more bizarre through his Patreon Need a friendly pal to get you through the night Well get headphones, take a listen, and maybe hit subscribe He's bizarre He's bizarre.